First of all, it's, it's just exciting to have someone new come in, you know, just to have a guest visitor come in and teach them. Working with Libby Ricardo was fun because she's this little powerhouse little woman and she came in and she had all the kids sit on the floor around her and no matter what they said, she would go real close and be like, you're amazing. And, and they all felt amazing. And so that was really cool because they really liked her. There's a, a multitude of things that I think um, students at this level can learn from Shakespeare. Uh, what I like about the language is it's a great equalizer, especially for students who are in middle school. No one really understands uh, what it's saying, especially at this point when they're sort of getting uh, used to, the, to sort of um, maybe a little bit more archaic uh, language and um, it seems a bit antiquated, it seems confusing. We have this idea that Shakespeare is, um, you know, sort of very high level thinking when in reality it's sort of a lot of crass jokes and like we we sort of um, discovered here um, petty sort of insults being thrown and so uh, when students realize make that connection between you know sort of their own vernacular and and the language that Shakespeare used it gets exciting okay, let's take it from the top who can read the first line for me when I knew that we were looking for a theater artist to come in and work with ELA students, I immediately thought of her. Um, she just has such wonderful energy and works so well with the students. And then I additionally do a Shakespeare unit following that in my theater class. And so they're getting that both in their ELA class and then the students that I have in theater are getting kind of the theater aspect of it as like a continuation of that residency. If I said to you, So our grant this year has been very far reaching throughout the entire school. So we have had artists in residencies with classical studies. We had two different ones. First of all, we had the um, dance artist in residency and they did Renaissance dance with, seven, with sixth grade classical studies. We also had a local artist, Dory Ingram, come in and work with our seventh grade classical studies groups with their River of Words project. Then we also had a artist in resident come in and work with our eighth grade theater students. We had an artist in residence do our dance residency and they performed for the 9-11 ceremony. And we also had a residency come in for our visual arts students and they created a sculpture based on the culture and the community of Beaufort Middle School. We also had uh, Greg Rawls in, which was through a different grant. But we had him in as well for a set design artist in the fall. And so he was actually in my classroom working with students designing and building the set for our musical. The gentlemen that worked with the students, um, they were Andrew Davis and Jacob Olson, um, and they were Winthrop grads in sculpture. Um, so they came here to work with the students to kind of teach them about the, the process to um, arriving to having a final installed public art piece, public installation. Um, so the students learned about the planning stage, the brainstorm stage, all the way to you know working with someone on what they want it to look like, um, and then the final installation. So like I said, we worked from the bottom up. So we used like straws, and we each kind of like made our own thing. So we made straws, and then we replicated, we made like four, and then we found our favorite and replicated it with bamboo sticks that we cut. And then like we just worked our way up from there. And the science aspect, when we actually got to paint the um, metal, and he taught us how the paint reacted to the metal and the oxygen and it made the rust come out. And it was pretty cool. Yeah, it had like little rust spots on it. I was amazed and scared at the same time because yeah. they're like professionals and I'm like I have so many questions for you because I really want to continue my career as an artist and they really like showed me a lot of stuff I could actually do with that. My final day I think I'll have a, um, a smaller group of individuals that have been selected that have sort of um, been standouts in the various groups and will work specifically on um, text that I uh, you know handpick for them and hopefully we'll be able to sort of perform them at the end of the day. What's the deal? Why are you listening to sad music? And then you're trying to convince her, like, you should be happy. There is no more woman's sides can buy the beating of so strong a passion. As love do with give my heart, no one's heart so big to hold so much they lack retention. 
we get to read a passage from the science about the solar eclipse coming on in August, August 21st. Yeah, August 21st, 2017. So we get to write a song, rap about it, act about it, or just do anything that's yeah, we, entertaining. Yeah, just present it. We just have to do it creative and fun. And that's pretty much what the Art Integrated School is. Like, so in every single one of our classes, we're doing something cool. And yeah, it's never boring. Yeah, it really is. <laughs>